Tech giant Apple released the much-awaited iOS 15.1 update to eligible iPhones, the first major software update since it first rolled out iOS 15 in September. The latest update to iOS comes alongside the release of macOS Monterey, the updated operating system for Apple's Mac lineup. Be sure to check out all the new features introduced in macOS Monterey as well by clicking the i button. iOS 15.1 introduces new features that were delayed from iOS 15, plus it adds camera improvements for iPhone 13 Pro users. The iOS 15.1 brings a number of new features including share play, a macro mode toggle and ProRes video recording feature for the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max. Well, with this new OS upgrade, we finally get some of the new features we have been waiting for. So let's take a look. The highlight feature of iOS 15.1 includes SharePlay. The feature lets users call their friends and family and watch movies, listen to music together using FaceTime. It also gives them the option to share their screen to view apps together. SharePlay works across iPhone, iPad and Mac and with the shared playback controls. Anyone in a SharePlay session can play, pause or jump ahead. It also has a smart volume feature that automatically lowers the audio of a movie, TV show or song when someone on the call speaks. Well, it's a great feature for group planning or assisting someone with device troubleshooting. ProRes is a high-quality video compression format which is widely used professionally by TV show, commercial and movie creators. It is a high-quality video codec that offers better color reproduction and less compression. But it takes up a lot of storage, which is likely the reason that it's limited to 1080p quality at 30 frames per second on the 128GB storage of iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max models. If you have higher storage capacity on your Pro, then 4K ProRes recording at 30fps is possible. Macro arrived with iPhone 13 Pro at launch and it automatically enables you to get close to a subject. Unfortunately, this caused issues for some users who were not trying to shoot in macro. To solve that, Apple added auto macro toggle to turn off automatic switching. This lets users switch to the ultra wide lens manually when they want to shoot in macro. Another new feature is verifiable COVID vaccination cards in Apple Wallet. Once added to Wallet, they can be used to verify vaccination status at supported locations including airports, concerts, venues and more. Any application record available through the smart health cards, specifications can be added to the health app and transferred to Wallet. In the home app, Apple has added new triggers for humidity, air quality and light levels. If you monitor these data points, they can now be used to set off an automation or sense. Lastly, the Shortcuts app has new options for Siri as well as macros for overlaying text on GIFs and images. The update includes several bug fixes for issues with photos, storage, the weather app, the wallet app, Wi-Fi and more. Users can simply go to Settings, General, Software Update to download and install the new iOS 15.1 update. We recommend you to take a backup on your PC or iCloud before installing the update. So that's all. What do you think about all the new updates? Do share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.